Hello everyone, hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn how to interact with SAP tables in YPath using the table cell scope activity. So I'm already on SAP on the create purchase order. So in order to access to this page, you just need to search here for the following code MA21N and then press the enter button. And so here we can see a table, an idea is to fill some rows on this table. So insert the metro, the quantity and the net price by using the table sales scope activity. So let's get started on YPath Studio by creating a data table with some rows by using the build data table activity. So here we can see that I've had three columns the metro, the quantity, and the net price, and we have here some rows. So then make sure that you create a data table variable to store so our data table that we have created here. Then let's use the use application browser activity. And let's indicate so the SAP application on this page. And now inside of the use application browser, let's create a loop for each row of our data table. And so then for each row of our data table, we'll fill uh, the date of the row on the SAP table. So here on activities, let's search for, for each row in data table. And here we can see the activity. Let's drag it to our project. And so we just have to indicate the data table that we wanted to raise each row. So let's indicate here our data table variable that we have created. And now inside of the for each row in data table activity, we'll execute the need activities to fill each cell of certain SAP table row. So now we'll use the table cell scope activity. So let's search here for table cell scope. And this is a SAP dedicated activity and it facilitates a lot the interaction with SAP tables. And let's see how it facilitates. So let's drag it to our project inside of the forage row. And first we have to indicate a cell on the SAP table, so on the first row, let's indicate the match row cell. And so automatically uh, was found the column name related to the cell and now the row number. So if we click here, we can see that was detected all the columns that we have on our SAP table. And here on row number, we have the option, uh, the option first empty row. So it's a really nice option. And basically by selecting uh, the first empty row option, this activity will always target the first empty row of the SAP table. On our case, on the cell related to the metro column. And now inside of this activity, we'll use activity that will perform the action that we want. So to fill the cell of the table. So let's use the type pin activity. And very important, let's drag it inside of the table cell scope activity. And now we don't have to indicate anything to the type in the activity, just what we want to insert. So basically it will target uh, the cell uh, provided by the table cells scope activity. So here we just have to indicate what we want to insert on the cell. So in our case, it's on the row on the column metro. So uh, let's see now how it's working. So let's add here enter to submit the row after insert. So after fill the cell related to the material com. So let's run our project. And as you can see, it inserted 
so the match roll on the first row and submitted the row. And now we'll go off exception, a selector exception. Uh, we can see basically that uh, uh, was changed the table structure after submit the row. And so there is a selector change when this happened. And so we will fix it. So let's just wait for the exception. And here you can see basically was not found uh, basically the selector. So uh, let's here uh, take the selector of our table cell scope. And now let's paste it on the notepad, for example. And now let's open uh, the Y Explorer and let's get now the current selector. So let's indicate here uh, the cell of the first row. So uh, let's here copy to the notepad. And so uh, here we can see a small difference. So here we can ignore here uh, these two attributes. So uh, they are not needed for the table cell scope. It automatically knows what's the column and the row. So here we can see a small change on the selector after insert the row. Here we can see it's really a small change. So basically to handle these difference on the selector, we can use a wildcard to be dynamic. So uh, let's do it. Let's see close. And now here, let's edit our selector. And here let's add the wild card on the part that changes. So we can see that now it's valid, the selector. So uh, here let's on SAP, I'll just uh, go back and now let's access again the create purchase order. And now let's run again our automation to see how it's working. And as we can see, now it's inserting uh, the match row on each row. So it targets automatically the first empty row. And so as we can see easily, we got here uh, three uh, rows submitted. So now uh, let's add uh, this for the quantity and the net price to finish. So uh, we need to use uh, table sales scope activity. One for the quantity and another for the net price. And now here, let's indicate the quantity and let's tweak the selector here to handle the change that happens. So here, first empty row and we'll use a type in activity. And so we will insert here the quantity. And in last, let's so indicate here net price. Let's start the first empty row and edit the selector to handle the change on the selector. So let's use here the wildcard. And so let's use a type pint activity insert so uh, the net price I think it's this the column name I will just check yes it is and so here after insert the net price we will submit the row so let's add enter and remove the enter that we have here and so let's execute again our automation so let's just go back here and now let's execute our project
And as you can see, it's working as expected. So was inserted the first row. Now will be the second. And the last will be so the third row. So as we can see, it's working well. So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on each tutorial that I launch on this channel. And now, if you want to learn more about SAP automation in WebPath, check the tutorial that I leave here now on the top where uh, you can learn a lot about SAP automation with WebPath.